Okay, hi everybody, I'm back. So now we are going to look at the two palettes that I got from Lunatic Labs Cosmetics. This is palette one, palette two. Look at these. Look at the packaging on these. Are these not the cutest friggin' thing ever? They have like matte shades and you are able to or they claim that you're able to use these as contour or eyeshadows look at the colors on these are my and they're pans actually that if you um run out you can just order the refill and slap them back in there puppy so i got i left that I just did a video on some foundation that I bought and I left the foundation on there even though I don't really like it but anyway um, so I thought that we would try these out together I just can't get over the packaging of these this is so flippin cute look at this it looks like a book of shadows or whatever and you know I'm all about creepy things I was looking at the names of the colors they're not like called anything crazy they're just like deep yellow whatever okay so I thought that I would use this color right here as the contour color and believe this or not I am going to use a Luxi brush the powder Luxi brush and we'll see how that goes Ooh, kind of a gray the thing about it is when you're real fair skin I think you could get away with it. Right. It's definitely, I'm using the purple palette. I mean, it's kind of ghoulish, but it, I kind of like it, though. You know I'm all about the apocalypse anyway. I'm not hating it. I'm liking it. It's definitely really, really pigmented, y'all. It's amazing pigment. I mean, I'm barely putting it in the... color. I don't know if you could see that. Love it! I like it. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? I like it a lot, actually. This foundation. Oh! Oh my god, let's just get this crap covered up. Alright, what I'm gonna do is get a clean Lexi brush and... I think I'm going to use the lighter shade here. Now I'm going to get the darker shade and just kind of go maybe give me some color. Kind of bronze it up a little bit.
up around my face. Because you know there's about 15 inches of snow out there. But at least the sun's out today. What would happen? Ooh, like it up. Oh my god, there's that song at Havana. I love that song, but I get that stuck in my head, and I promise you to God, I can't get it out. That and Justin Bieber, that song, and I swore that I was going to teach myself how to speak Spanish, and that went over for about, an, I don't know, a whole whopping hour. So now, I wish that I would have stuck with it. Because it seems like that Latin inspired songs or Spanish speaking Spanish uh, songs music is becoming like a thing. QL. Okay. Um, I'm going to use this color right here, this more of a plummy color as a. Blush. Jesus, I can't even speak. I like it a lot. You have to please excuse my face. Okay, got a little heavy there. My God. It definitely... It definitely is pigmented. <laughs> Let's see if I can't. I mean, I'm all for a lot of blush. Okay. Don't look bad. All right. Um... I'm going to use this color here to go underneath my eyes and down the bridge of my nose as more of a highlight color. Instead of using highlight, I'm going to see what it does. Kind of a yellowy... This by far is not the highlight because I got some highlight. Oh my god, that's a whole video in of itself. I cannot wait. It's more of a hollow. Oh, I like that though. Ooh. Love it. My nose is running. Oh my god, just forget it. Anyway. Let's do the eyes. This is really darker. Ooh. I'm thinking that probably... Let's pick something like this as a transition color right there. Ooh, it is pigmented. Ooh, jeez. Put it on there and I'll get a blender brush here. It's pretty. This is wonderful. Oh my god, this is going to be so my favorite palette ever. Because I like matte. I like matte um, colors for the eyes especially for aging skin and fine lines and stuff you definitely do not want to wear shimmers because that just accentuates your weights that crap
Oh my gosh, I I love that collar right there. That's that is really pretty. I think what I'm gonna do is come in with a little bit darker right underneath of that color. And the only reason I double dipped it was because I barely put it in there. I was afraid that it was going to be, you know, too pigmented. Yeah, I like that. I want to try the, the shimmer just on the actual eyelid, though. But I have hooded eyes, so, I mean, it's really not going to do any good since, you know, you can't really see it. Oh, sorry. My bad. Hit the shit. I'm going to go a little bit darker for the outer corner and the uh, let me see if I can't find a should have been a little bit more professional and prepared here. <laughs> Oopsie. I'm going to go no. Ooh, I didn't even see it over here. I kind of like this red. Let's go red. Use the Sephora pencil brush. And I am going to go, oh God. Yeah, they are definitely... <laughs> It's a pretty color, though. It's kind of a weird shade. It's kind of like a... It looks red, but when you put it on, it has like black flecks in it. It's weird. I like it a lot. It's almost like a vampire. Ooh, let's blend that sucker out a little bit, shall we? Crazy. All right, down. Let's go. I think what I'm going to do on the lid is I'm going to go with the. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go with this magenta color right there. Just because. Why not? Ooh. And I'm just patting it on with a flat brush. I like it. I sit with my mouth open all the time, Jesus. Like, what are you doing? Catching a fly? And you know, Mr. F say, I got something like you could put in that mouth. Yeah, okay. I've had my fill of that over the years. I'm good. Because if it ain't a potato chip or something, I'm good. And I'm going to use what's on the remainder of this flat brush and just kind of go down underneath on my bottom lash line because I am going to try to smoke that out a little bit. I 
like it. Let me get another brush here. I'm going to use my unicorn brush that I got from eBay. You know, it's the not real kind, but I absolutely love them. Look, there it is. Plastic. It's got a little unicorn head. I'm going to use the the white that's here for up along the brow line. Just kind of pat some on there. Just kind of highlight. In the inner corner. It's not quite as pigmented, I don't think. I mean, it's still pretty. I'm going to use the pencil brush and I'm going to pick up that red with a black flake and kind of do the bottom line, lash line as well because we're going to smoke that out a little bit with all the colors that we've used. See how that's turning out. Then, last but not least, I'm going to pick up this middle transition color that we use, the second transition color, and go on the bottom as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go off camera and put my um, mascara on and finish it up and I'll come right back. Okay, I'm back. I had to put my um, mascara on. I feel so much better. Okay, so my impression. I am absolutely in love with Lunatic Labs Cosmetics. If you wear makeup, you have got to go to lunaticlabscosmetics.com and order your palettes today. Dude. I mean, this is going to be messed up. I'm going to carry this around with me every day, wherever I go. This is going to be the ones that I use every friggin' day for the rest of my life. Seriously. I love the pigmentation. I love the way that it blends. I love that you can mix the colors and make new, like, new colors, and it's I love that when you run out of one color, you can order just the pan and refill the package and you don't have to like buy a new palette. And I love the way that the palette looks and I'm just, I am in love with this. And I know that they have lipsticks and I know that they have like just eyeshadow palettes. I am definitely going to buy the entire line. I am absolutely in love with it. So. I mean, like, I am tingling. That's how much I am absolutely loving this, okay? So, I mean, anybody that likes makeup knows what I'm talking about because that's ridic, okay? So, if you like makeup, if you like matte, if you got anti-aging skin, or if you got fine lines, or if you like, you know, more bang for the buck, definitely Lunatic Labs Cosmetics, or if you just like the packaging, I mean, look at the Look at the packaging. This is freaking cute. Okay? You have got to go out. I'll put it in downstairs where you can find it. It'll zing you out there and you can order your own. Um, and I know that they're vegan. They're um, cruelty free. The whole nine yards. and um, Which is excellent. And it's always good. So, okay. Moving on. Next video. Zzzz.